We're actually going to go to Sobey Bridge, which is the filming locations where they filmed the TV series Happy Valley. <laughs> Quite exciting, actually. Me too. He's reminded me of being I in LA. I can't believe just found this without even looking it up. <laughs> Look how tight this street is around the front. They yeah. must have had to clear all these cars for when they were filming it. Yeah. Welcome, guys, to a new vlog. Hello. We are recording on a new SD card because our Lexar one failed. First SD card we've ever had fail, and it failed twice in the last week, so we can't risk losing footage. So we're on a brand new um, SanDisk card. Um, sure if you don't see this thing. vlog, then it's failed and we have to record it again. So anyway, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're not planning on going to see my mum, although plans can change. Um, we have been kind of racking our brains as to what we're gonna do. And we did we did discuss this a few weeks ago, didn't we? Yeah, I'm just emptying this washer. Go on, Cinders. Um, we're actually going to go to Sobe Bridge, which is the filming locations where they filmed the TV series Happy Valley, which we've got well into ever since Series 3 started. And we've actually started watching Season 1 again. So we're already familiar with a lot of the sites and locations, and I've got a few links on my phone. So we're going to head over there, have a cafe, get, have, um, have a meal in a cafe, not a meal in a cafe, have a coffee in a cafe, uh, and then just have a mooch around town, see if we can see anything that looks familiar. I want to find the... Um... Police the, station. The original police station, not the new one in the third series. I know what you mean. But I do know we'd have to go to Halifax as well for the new police station because that's actually a sports centre in Halifax. All oh, right. Well, I'm not bothered about the new one. It's the original one that's more iconic. Actually. Yeah, the one where I'm going to give a spoiler here. So if you've not watched Happy Valley, skip this next 30 seconds. It's the bit where the bridge across from the police station is where the guy from Downton jumped off. So there we go. So. If you didn't want to know what that was all about, watch the series. It's amazing. It's probably the best TV series I've ever seen. Even better than Bodyguard. And Bodyguard had me in, like, complete anxiety. Happy Valley does that even when there's nothing happening. It's just the music, the acting, the, the, lo the locations. Yes, I think so. The locations, because it's familiar surroundings and they talk a little bit like us around here. I bother it's West Yorkshire rather than South. And we said when we get to the end of our current rewatch of it, um, we're going to go back and start watching Last Tango in Paris. Uh, I was called Last Tango in Last Halifax. Last Tango in Halifax again. If you've not seen that one, that's on iPlayer as well and that's good as well. Yep. So when we were watching an episode last night from season two, they went to a pub called Wills and Nats, which we actually pass when we go and see my mum at the hospice. And we both watched it and went, oh my God, that's that pub. We actually go around a corner to see it. So at some point we're gonna go and visit that, maybe into this vlog or maybe uh, in a couple of days time when we go and see my mum. But it's the, uh, it's the pub where Vicky Fleming, is it Vicky Fleming? Again, a spoiler, so skip the next 30 seconds. It's where Vicky Fleming um, drugged the guy from Downton. I don't know his name, but it's Molesley from Downton, isn't it? She drugged him in this particular pub. So we may even go there, check it out, see if it was actually filmed inside as well. I've just found a planting cupboard. Oh no, you can chuck that away. That's disgusting. We'll take it to your mum next time we go. Oh, that's nice. Give it to my mum. No, it's not disgusting. It'd be nice for a room. It's dusty and horrible. It's all granny. It'd be nice for a room. No. Been it. On his way, so Sowerby Bridge, where Sowerby, Sowerby Bridge, is it? Yeah, Sowerby's in, Bri Sowerby in Bridlington. Sowerby Bridge. Sowerby Bridge. There we go. Lots of different ways to say, it, obviously. No, um, not that way. <laughs> Sowerby Bridge um, is where a lot of Happy Valley was filmed. Don't worry if you don't like Happy Valley or anything like that. This um, vlog will also contain cafes, um, coffees, and going on the search for some nice toasted currant tea cakes because we have run out at the apartment. So um, it's about 20 minutes away from where we are at the very moment uh, to get there. I do love it when we find a TV series or a film yeah. and then we go and film to yeah, the locations. I, I don't know what it is about filming locations, it's just... It's just nice to see things that you see on yeah. TV. It's like, oh, that's that thing, that's there, blah, blah, blah. At some point I want to go back and do another American road trip, but this time go up and down. Yeah, on, and, and yards, Nick wants to do an up and down Road, on the left, uh, the east, uh, west coast. Yeah, I want to go see the Goonies house. I want to do an up and down on the west coast, so I'm going to do that at some point as well. Take Probably fly yeah. to New I York. Want, I want west coast as well. Then turn right east coast, I mean, <laughs> fly to New York and then make our way down to Florida, stopping along the way at different locations. Um, so that'll be a good one as well. Uh, so as I said, 20 minutes away. 
Um, we've heard from Nick's mum. Nick's brother's going to go visit her today. Um, she's in no pain, but she's a little bit confused. But uh, no pain is a very good thing. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Um, so, let's get there. The and uh, we've, Nick's got some links on his phone of filming locations for the TV series. So we're going to have a look at that when we get there. We will put some screen grabs on the screen. Yeah when and if we find some of the places, but I'm pretty sure we will we definitely, definitely find will, some. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we know where that Wills and Nats is, so whether that'll go in this vlog, I don't know, but that's we'll no definitely idea. show in another vlog at some point. in Soaby. So we're going to find a cafe and just get all our facts and um, locations together where we're going to go film. Yeah, we're going this way. Yes, yeah, this way. Um, so I don't know where we're going. We're just going to find somewhere to uh, have a coffee. Right. Town centre is this way, but as we're going, we think we've just seen the uh, police station from series one and two. So we're yeah. just going to have a quick look. I think it is. I'm not looked it up yet, but I'm <laughs> sure I recognise it. Let's go and have a look. Just going over this bridge. There's some white swans down there. Oh, not swans, sorry, geese. Reminding us of the lodge. Oh, there's only one white one left at the lodge now. So uh, we'll sure see if Nick is correct. I am very, very that sure building that this there. is it. Because it's actually been refurbished, if it is this one. Um, the police station has been refurbished, so it does look different from the first and second season. So yeah. this video is going to give you, as we said right at the beginning of the video, there's going to be lots of spoilers. So rather than not say where it is we can't obviously do the video without explaining it so some plots are going to drop so if you haven't seen happy valley go and watch it before you watch this video <laughs> it's definitely because i can see the bridge across the side as well quite excited actually it's reminding me of being I can't in la just found this without even looking it up <laughs> right so on the front it actually says rent in the happy valley apartments to rent from only 425 per month um, with utility bills and Wi-Fi included. That's not bad. There you go. There is the police station from series one and two. As I said, it looks completely different because they've cladded, cladded it and put a different door on there. That's a blue door in the film, uh, in the series. It was the main door on the side, but you can actually see these railings, I think, in the uh, TV episode. And yeah. if you've seen the series, um, and the last episode of series two, yeah. where John the do dodgy he's called detective, John, yeah. who kills Vicky Fleming, who plays Molesley in downtown. In there, he runs out here, runs up to the end of the bridge and then runs on the top and then eventually gets on to the ridge up there where Sarah Lancashire and he does something we won't say what he does but we've already gotten that far <laughs> we'll have to finish it where Sarah Lancashire is trying to talk him down and uh, she fails and he basically falls literally on the top of a van yeah. there so I cannot believe we found that without even looking <laughs> Ooh, that one, this one. right we're going to take some uh, photos and send it to uh, my family because they love Happy Valley and to Lisa and Aid because they've just watched the whole series as well Fire engine going past there. So, uh, not even sure we've ever been to this part of Sourby Bridge before. Why? What? Sourby Bridge. Sourby now. What, you, what okay. is it? Sourby. Sourby Bridge. Um, we did once come uh, many, many years ago, and I made Nick go to a vegetarian oh. restaurant. I had the worst heartburn I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> so, it put him off going to um, vegetarian restaurants for life. Yeah. Right, we're just having a coffee and breakfast uh, break before we uh, plan all our next bits. So we're in a Weatherspoons, very nice Weatherspoons actually, uh, having small beans on toast and a cup of tea. This is our view outside, nice church there. It's called the Commercial Inn, this one. Nick's chowing on his uh, beans on toast there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do our research and head back out and find some more places. Yeah. You can't beat Weatherspoons for value. That was a really nice beans on toast and as many coffees and teas as you want and it was seven quid for both of us yeah um, so Nick will tell you about the next place we're going on the Happy Valley filming locations right so we've actually got 10 places um, no actually 11 places including the police station so the one that uh, we're gonna go to now is actually part of series one so season one Tommy Lee Royce murdered Lewis when they were hanging out in the apartments and they're just behind in this block behind us which is called Gladstone's Tower just there we're gonna go and have a closer look right let's go and have a move 
That's one of the tower blocks, that's called Horton Towers. The one behind it's called Ladstone, I think. I wonder which one it was. I don't know. There's Ladstone Towers. So I wonder which one it was. So yeah, I'm not sure which one it was that uh, he was inside. I think it was Ladstone. From what I've been reading, it's Ladstone. Right, okay. So there we go, that's season one. It was the very, I think it's the second to the last episode, mm -hmm. or maybe the last episode, where Tommy strangled his mate and slit um, Lewis's throat. Yes. Somewhere in there. A very pleasant series. If you've not seen it, it probably sounds gruesome, but it's it is. Amazing. <laughs> it's it's really amazing, amazing series. So if you don't fancy Weatherspoons, there's lots of other cafes and stuff in uh, around here. TJ's Cafe, rooms available, Bull on the Bridge. Um, the Olive Branch there, Mediterranean restaurant. Can't seem to find that vegan restaurant that we went in, or vegetarian, whatever it was. Um, but it must have been around here somewhere. I think I remember enjoying it, but it was about 15 years ago. Ooh, it, train. I, I'm sure that was it there. Right, this is a random one, but it's a Tesco. <laughs> it's a Tesco car park where John in season two kind of has a bit of a breakdown in his car at night. He yeah. literally pulls up in front of the building there. It's all shut down, there's nobody in the car park and they filmed it here at night. Yeah. It's just across from the road from the police station. And um, just across the road from the flat, the, the towers. The towers, which are yeah. just there. So this is the last place now that we've got in um, in Solby Bridge. Uh, the next set of locations are in Hebden Bridge, Elland, Huddersfield and Rishworth. So we're going to go back to the car and drive to the next places. Yes, Hebden Bridge is where the majority of it filmed. Catherine's house is there, which we're going to go and visit. Um, I think the school, yep. uh, the shop where um, Catherine's sister's Neil. boyfriend works, Neil. Neil. Right, I'm just going to zoom in on this tower because you see this shot in many of the like B-roll scenes in, I think it's all three seasons, that tower. I don't yeah. know what that tower is, but you see that a lot when they are up on like the tops of the valley looking down. I think the scenes from where Tommy Lee Royce had her kept in the cellar from season one is up there somewhere. Um, I think it's called Fenton Street, but I couldn't get a proper location on the maps and couldn't verify it, so I've not actually put that one on. But if anybody does know and has been, do let us know in the comments below. So the next stop that we're going to, we're going to visit Catherine's house. Mm. This is a nice little town, isn't it? When we went to Sandra's, before we went on the road trip, we came through here and up this hill here. Is this Hebden Bridge then? Yes. Oh, I like it already. It's very quaint. Turns yeah. right onto Hanging Road Lane, yeah, then turn left onto Regent Street. Going over a little bridge. Catherine's house is just around the corner. Down there. Oh my God, I didn't, I was not expecting it to be, I mean, I've got my bearings now. I can't really remember. I don't think we've ever gone around. So sort of. that's the front of Catherine's house there. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, free now. When you see it on the TV series, it just looks like a a, well, yeah, a street in loads of housing estates, but not there. On the right. So uh, so down here, down there is a garden at the end. And they've had some residents. Oh yeah, it's there. There we go. That's Catherine's house. Oh, there's a car behind us. Wait a minute. Right. So we've turned around. And we're just going back down the other way. So, not that one. It's not this one, it's this one here. The next one. So, this road is very familiar there we for go. anybody who's watching. They've still got all the plants outside as well. I Let know. me just uh, zoom in. There we go. So How that, the hell do, do location scouts find places like this and make um, you believe it's somewhere else? That's where Ryan plays football and the, the um, Catherine. And, and a yeah. You can see the conservatory at the back, the brown conservatory, yeah. where she walks out, can't yeah. you? Just there. And like the, I, other people are here looking for it. Is there? <laughs> yeah. People's looking for it. <laughs> and they actually use the front of the house as well, which we'll go past now. Yeah, I don't know how many houses down, it's probably about six, but yeah. um, it was for sale. It was in the Daily Mirror for about 220 grand a couple of years ago. Blimey. So there we go. There is signs on both sides of the street saying don't go down, so it's residents only. So I imagine they, they're no, well, it says, from it, their residents. It says parking for residents only. All oh, right. So there we go. 
So let's go around the front. Look how tight this street is around the front. They yeah. must have had to clear all these cars for when they were filming it. Yeah. Because she parks at the front quite a lot and then goes in the front. I'm not sure which house it is. No. It's one of these. I think it's a little bit further down. So she goes in the front. Oh, this, I think it's Isn't that one? Think Possibly. So. And um, they have a party in that that room, if yeah. that is it, I don't know. Um, but it's one of these, yeah. So, uh, right, on to the next location. So the next one is where Neil, Neil, uh, Neil, um, whatever the sister's name's boyfriend is, uh, works. And this is from seasons one and two, or all three, three seasons actually. It's a co-op in the season, in, in the series, but it's actually a Nisa local in, in real life. Yeah, so let's go and find it. Right, we're parked in Garden Street Car Park in Hebden Bridge, and Nick seems to remember, although we can't find it, we have Googled it and everything. It's, it seems to remember a scene parked in from Happy Valley where the somebody camera, parked here. The camera was here and it showed you the car going into these weird beams. Just kind of turn it around and show what was actually in the episode. That's the camera. So the camera was here and the car literally parked into these. Because when I watched it, I thought, that's a weird car park. I wonder where that is. And as we've just drove in, I've just seen it. Nick, I've so been researching it all afternoon. I've just watched <laughs> two and a half episodes in the car in fast forward, I'm just to try and find yeah, it. But we can't find it. Right, so, so we're going to head gonna... down into the bridge now. And where the, uh, I said it was a co-op. We thought it was a co-op in the series, but it wasn't. We've no, just you're thinking again. of you're thinking of Last Tango in Halifax from Slaithwaite. Maybe. Which was a co-op that was renamed to Green Doe. So it is actually a Nisa local in the series, and it is a Nisa local now, apparently. Right, let's go and see if he's on duty. So before we get there, I'll just show you some of the cafes and things. Music, Muse Music and Love Cafe. Um, Leia's Kitchen, food, coffee and tea. We're going to have to try one, it's yeah. been hours. <laughs> well, not really. Um, the Albert Pub over there. So there's some nice looking uh, places around here. And if you're into your antiquing, um, it's definitely a good place to come because I've seen absolutely loads of antique centres, antique places. So, uh, just round here apparently. Do you know where it is? Uh, no. Right, and there it is, just over the road. Oasis Nisa Local. You'll recognise it more when we get to the other side. Yeah, so where that guy's standing is yeah. where Ryan first met Tommy Lee um, face to face. He was on his bike and he came outside him in the shop after he'd just gone into the charity shop over the road to get some clothes. Yeah, it's, it's the first time they actually speak. He speaks to Ryan. Face to face, he yeah. says, I'm your dad. Yeah. So, so there it is. That, that's the angle that you'll know it from. Yeah. And Claire has a conversation there with Neil. For the first time when she yeah. meets him, yeah. There's actually a market down there. We might go and have a quick look at that market. Oh, phone call. So I'll just show you around, because um, it's always interesting to get, like, as if you were stood there, the other side, yeah. so, which you don't see on the TV series. So there's more cafes and shops and stuff down there. You know what? What? I think we should go in and see if Neil's working. <laughs> because in season three, Catherine goes in by some paracetamols when she bollocks him, when she finds out yeah. that he's took Ryan to see Tommy Lee Joyce. Yeah. Tommy Lee Royce in prison. Yeah. Let's go in, see if he's in. So it is the right one, and uh, they've also got some happy ale. I wonder if that's actually um, named after the series. So I'll turn around in a minute and show you the rest of the shop. So where Lee is, is where Catherine orders some paracetamol from Neil and pays, and then she bolts out the door out there. So just down here, is the uh, market. Oh, I wonder if we'll get any toasted current tea cakes here. Maybe. Because we do need some. There is a farm shop over there, but it looks like it's just pies. We definitely need to come back here when we're not filming for a location because it looks like a really nice place. So many sort of like tea rooms in more up there. And uh, come on, let's go and have a look for some uh, toasted current. Oh, cheese. Mm. Cheese is no good for our healthy eating at the moment though. Right, we're going to try this coffee Cali and see uh, if I can get a drink in here. Right, we've gone upstairs into this little cute cafe. Um, loads of log firewood, but no log fire, but that would have been nice. And then this nice view uh, onto the canal. I'm sure, I'm sure there's lots and lots of other scenes that are just kind of like background yeah. scenes in the series that we just don't even know yeah. about. That it's we, just we pass. such a nice place to have a little walk around. Definitely want to come back here. My mum and dad would love it here. I'm sure they've been, but we'll need to bring them. Definitely. Little light snack within our allowance. We were in the crust. Um, go on then, I'll treat myself to crust. Go on then. And, uh, just a cup of tea and a coffee and then we're going back on the hunt from all locations. Is it a beer palace? Yeah. Just saying, I bet this place is lovely in summer. I mean, it's nice now in the winter, like, but uh, I bet it's really nice in summer. What? There was a scene in Happy Valley, season one, where Ryan had done something at school 
Mm. And um, Catherine was following him, ignored pigeons. Uh, Catherine was following him and they were walking past the canal like a river like this and I'm sure it was this bridge. Maybe. I may be wrong. Maybe. We've not researched <laughs> every, time, every time we look around it's like, what that in it? What that yeah, in the we scene? Um, we're just going to have a quick look on here at um, the shops and then uh, head back to the car to go to the next location. Next location is going to be Halifax. There's two places in Halifax we want to see. One of them is featured in season three. Uh, both of them in season three actually. Love all the little quirky shops, Casbar Emporium. Love yeah, she'd, place, she'd love it. Yeah, a pub, the pub at Hebden Bridge. Look at that up there. And cocktail bar and maybe in lounge. the summer we'll get an Airbnb and come and stay yeah, in, well, in the nice, town actually. and then go to like places like that, like yeah. a little tiki bar. Yeah. Oh, it's a Greek and Mediterranean restaurant. Love Greek salads. What's this here? The Bay Tree, the Yorkshire Chocolate Company, the Bay Tree breakfast sandwich. Oh wow! Yeah. Look at that. Love it in there. It's just all tea shops. Like yeah. All of it. Although I've still not seen anywhere to um, buy toasted currants. Let's have a look how much the houses are. 250 grand for a three story one. That's not too bad. So Catherine's house sold for a few years ago for 220 grand. So I bet that's probably going to be about 350 grand mm, now. Well, yeah. Right, now heading back to the uh, car. So just, it's even nicer this way. Look at that. The Hebden Bridge Mill with different shops in. Um, and one of them is like Antique. antiques so as i said if you like your antiquing maybe we'll come back and do some antiquing one day <laughs> i enjoyed going down that antique shop the other day right, find the, car now. the car is back that way up towards the market Right, we're at our next location, which is actually um, the old Halifax swimming baths. This doubled up as the uh, police station in the third series. And if you recall a scene um, in the third series where Catherine was talking to Anne Gallagher on that corner just there, and a car was parked there, and then the following day she came back and said, oh, are you still there? Um, because it was the following sort of shift day. But that's exactly where it was filmed just there. Now the front of the building, I'm not sure whether we can see, let's go around. Right, so this is the front of the um, Halifax swim pool. They're obviously converted into, I think they converted into apartments or something like that. So Nick's going to see if he can get the camera over the top. Let me get the screen out. Have you so got the we... fancy tripod with a long extender on no, it? Oh, I ain't got it. Oh, there's no way I'm going to reach up there. So, <laughs> not a chance. Might be able to get the camera up there. I'm going to give it another go. Wait a minute. Let me stand here. Right, can you see? Yeah, that's it. Have you got it? Yeah, there we go. That's it. So that's the front of Halifax Swim Pool. <laughs> right, the next scene is just down the road, and it's a scene where um, Catherine was following Claire uh, when she was pretending to be in Leeds, but she was actually in Sheffield. But actually, in real life, she wasn't in Sheffield. She was in Halifax, just around the corner from the Peace Hall, which you've seen in our vlogs many times. And you should be able to see it in a minute. It's a back street, so it's not yeah. off this main road, but you will recognise it. So the Peace Hall where we, we sometimes go for coffee and a little bit of shopping is just here somewhere. somewhere. And then this scene um, from Happy Valley is three minutes away. I'm just trying to look for the Peace Hall. I think it might be in there somewhere over there. Yeah. It just feels like I'm in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Did she park there, did Claire, or somewhere there? And then Catherine parked in front of her, and then we'll get out and show you uh, where they filmed it, the, which angle well, they filmed it from. Well, just here, literally, yeah. she parked two, yeah. two up from the machine But here. they filmed it from down here, so I'll see you in a minute. that way, yeah. Right, so the camera was here, where we stood. Um, well, first of all, it showed you Catherine drive around the corner up here, following Claire. Claire parked down there, on the other side of the machine, and then Catherine parked around here with his white on it. And it was pretending that it was in Sheffield, but yeah. we're nowhere near Sheffield. But it was supposed to be Leeds, yeah. that she was simulating. She was pretending to be in Leeds. But in Sheffield, but it's actually Halifax. Yeah. Literally next to the viaduct that runs over the, um, the thing that goes from Halifax to Bradford. Yeah. There we go. Right, two um, locations in Elland now. The first one is from season three, which is the, one of the pharmacies that Faisal, I think it's called, uh, runs. He, he runs two. One's in the centre of Huddersfield, 
uh, which we've actually been in, in real life it is. it is yeah we've been in there and got some covid tests randomly last year in there we're not going to go to that one we're going to go to the other one that it runs uh, and then the second location is a block of flats where the woman from the second season who owns that farm she gets released from prison in the third season and she gets relocated rehomed here uh, so we're going to go to that one as well right this is the street where the first pharmacy that he owns in this season three series um is now it's actually just a random house is it this one there yep so it's some random corner. house but they allowed them to turn it into a pharmacy for, it, the, yeah. for the tv show with the trellises let me just wash the windows so on the tv show they put like a green shutter on the downstairs yeah. window and things at the side we'll put, we'll put a, yeah, a photo on now yeah but that was the pharmacy yeah. it's amazing how it's just Random. When you watch it in the in the series, you just don't think of what's around it as no. like this narrow street where you would never possibly put a pharmacy. No. Well, but there we go. Yeah, it looks a lot smaller in real life as well. Yeah. Now I may be wrong because we've not looked it up, but I think Catherine parks there when she comes to see Alison to pick up her uh, truck when she's following Claire. Well, these are the flats. So these are the flats, so I think she parks there. These flats, by the way, are literally directly behind Faisal's pharmacy. Yeah. And um, it's where Alison, who's from the second season and in, in returns in the third season, um, she starts her new life after being in prison. Yeah, they were doing door-to-door -door in these and she yeah. was up there calling Richard on, on near one of those um, glass railings. Yeah, and um, down here is where she sees Alison moving in with a moving removal truck. Yeah, let's go around the front. I think it just shows you the back in the season. I think it does, but I think it also shows you the front as well. This this bit here. Never. When they're, they're parked on the street doing door to door, but it's this block yeah. here on the left. Mm. There we go. So we've got one more location left and then it's back home. This is like the big ticket one. Yeah, I think so. So let's go. From the third season at least. Yeah. Right, we're at our final destination. So this is um, from season three, where the Hepworth gym teacher and his wife, who's into so like drugs, lives, and that's the house there. So it goes in into there. They've actually um, changed the front door. Yeah, and Faisal comes sneaking around from the back garden when he's coming to see her. So that's the house there, and yeah. then up on this. Um, around the corner here we're not sure which one's Faisal's but we think it's the one with the big massive windows it's either that one or that one and that is yeah it's that one I think because you can't see it from that one yeah but it bumps into his car and it reverses down this drive so maybe it I is that one I think it's that one yeah that's yeah. the pharmacist house from um, season three it looks a lot newer in the um, series doesn't it than it is look at those views there so we could have gone on and on there was lots more uh, places and we will go into that pub from season two, oh, yeah, one day, not yeah. today, because it's on the way to and from when we go to see Nick's mum. So we'll we'll call him there at some point. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Let us know if you watch Happy Valley in the in the comments below. Did you enjoy seeing those uh, filming uh, scenes and stuff like that? Um, if you've not watched it, it's on BBC iPlayer. Sound like an advert for Happy Valley, but we just really like it at the moment. You know, I think I know where we are. You know, when we go to Manchester Airport and we see that reservoir on the side of the right hand side. Um, maybe. And it's never running and there's that pub at the other side that we once went to years ago. Yeah. I think that's the worst yeah. reservoir wall there. Very nice views out here. You can see all the snow's gone now. The sun's trying to get out over there, but I don't think it is because it's going to be dark soon. Um, so we're going to head back. Have a salad. To the apartment and have the beautiful salad again from last night, which was really nice. This is the reservoir Nick was just talking about and this is the pub that we once went to with my mum and dad just after we'd um, done our civil partnership and we went there for like a... Oh no, the cottages. It, it was a pub. Mm. It used to be a pub. Oh, yeah, so it's further on here. No, it's not. That's definitely it. Anyway, we went for a celebratory meal there just at the side of the reservoir. Right, on his way back, we're literally passing Balsamore Farm Shop. 
So we're going to get uh, our favourite toasted currant tea cakes. Well, they're not toasted at the minute. And curries. Toaster. And yeah, curries. and some more of those curries, which are really nice. And that's where we had uh, coffee with Hannah the Just other need day. To restock. Restock on some stuff, yeah. There's no tikka masalas left. Is that our favourite one, tikka masala? Yes, they've been replaced by the Rogan Joff. Mm. I guess they were uh, more popular. Well, that's that's a nice one as well. Oh my goodness, they haven't got any. Wait oh, no! That's why our toasted current tea cakes usually are the ones that we love. Bet that all the bread's nice here though. Are these toasted currants? No, just normal. Right, they've just gone to check if they've got any. They've also got pom sticks, which are one of our favourite crisps. So nice. Hot and spicy, salted, sour cream and salt and vinegar. Absolutely. Oh my god, brandy snap as well. Love a bit of brandy snap. Look at these freshly made, uh, what are these? Homemade Belgian chocolate coated farmhouse oh biscuits. God, that. It looks what like is a, that? It looks like a uh, Lemon calzone. Shortcake. Oh my god. It looks like a calzone. <laughs> oh god, that looks nice and all. Homemade all butter fruit flapjack. <laughs> right, we've got them. And they're frozen, but it's fine because we freeze them anyway. I knew we'd have got them in the freezer actually. Right, it's the next day. And we are just heading out and we're going to go past Will's and Nat's, the pub where um, Vicky Fleming. Fleming drugs Molesley when he goes to break up with her and, and um, she sneaks. takes some stuff that she's bought off the internet in his pint. Yeah, she takes some stuff for him, um, like personal belongings and stuff like that. Uh, it's the second season and then she puts something in his pint and drags him out of the car park, well into the car park, into his car. And we're here. And it's here. So when we go see Nick's mum, we pass this every day and it's actually called Wills and Nats as well. So the camera is basically... He's parked somewhere here yeah. isn't he the camera's kind of there pointing this way yeah and he packs up and then i think the actual insides are where they filmed it as well now we're not going to go in uh today because it is very early in the morning and they're not open <laughs> and they're not open but one day we'll go in there because we want to see if it is the same i am pretty sure it is because i've driven past and looked through the windows and it looks exactly like it was the place yeah so uh molesley comes um Top screen across Vicky here. Fleming off the up slough it top, as they say on slough the uh, top, yeah. movie. There we go, that's our last location from um, Happy Valley. I'll show you around the side of it, just in case you're ever around this way and fancy uh, home cooked food, cask ales, and a beer garden. Never tried it, have we? No. So if you look through the window here, they were sat in one of these windows. Yeah. So I think it's either like this one, one or there. this one here, this window here. Yeah. Oh yeah, because the bar's there, you can see where they were sat up, is in the yeah. bar? So we hope you've enjoyed our Happy Valley filming locations tour. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed that, if you've seen Happy Valley, or if you're intending to watch it. Why not go and watch it and then come back and watch the video again and yeah. um, see the places we visited. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching today guys, hit the like button and click the notification bell, drop us a comment below and um, we'll see you on the next vlog. But before we go, I'm just going to show you this beautiful view in front of me. Without the snow this time. Without the snow. Beautiful Yorkshire. In the in the, one of the valleys. What valley is that? Happy. I know, is it, is it <laughs> Colne Valley? No idea. Um, it's very sunny this it's morning as big, well. Just a big hill. So we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye for now. Bye.